the top at six tonight. Shocking video you'll only see on local 10 news. A man left paralyzed after he was tased by police. The whole thing was caught on camera. The man's family is claiming police brutality. And the officers say that video shows he was running from police. And let's get right to local 10's Alex Finney live with our exclusive tonight. Alex. Well, the family of Jesus Gratero, they said that they are tired. They are heartbroken and concerned. This is after the 30 year old who has a history of mental illness is now no longer able to walk following this incident with the Miami Dade Police Department and some of its officers. However, we did speak with the department just a little while ago, and they said that there really is no fault in terms of the officers. In this case, there was no wrongdoing. I don't feel this. I don't feel this. Jesus Gratero can no longer walk. From the chest down, he is paralyzed. My head hit the curb. They picked me up, act like I was conscious. I was not conscious. It was that hit that caused his spine to crack and break in two. You can see in this x-ray, it's completely severed. They don't care. January 2023 at 152nd Avenue and 88th Street in Southwest Miami-Dade. He says he was using a friend's cell phone when officers pulled up. They said, hey, you, come here. I said, for what? They said, come here. According to the arrest report provided by Miami-Dade PD, Gratero had an open arrest warrant for driving while his license was suspended, which triggered that arrest. This is what they do to someone because he had traffic tickets? Like, like, are you serious? Like, you break my spine in two places, you puncture my lung, you give me internal bleeding in the skull, they had to drain my skull. Slowing down the video, you can see Gratero running from officers. They tase him. He falls to the ground, but watch closely as his head slams right into the concrete curb, causing that ricochet back. Gratero was in the ICU at Kendall Regional for two months. If he did this to one of them, he would be in jail. Why can't they be? Miami-Dade police writing in a statement to Local 10. Our professional compliance bureau responded to the scene on the night of the incident to ensure compliance with all department's guidelines and procedures, and it was determined that there were no violations. And the department did go on to say that they are saddened to learn in terms of the extent of Gratero's injuries. However, the family, they said that they are still vowing to fight this, saying that officers in this case were not uh, right in terms of the level that they took this, in terms of how things escalated. They do have an attorney, and we will see what comes of that. For now, this is the very latest live in Doral. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Tough.